Hello! In this video I'd like to cover installation and basic usage of HL Capture, a tool for capturing Half-Life videos on Linux. HL Capture is similar to Half-Life Advanced effects, but runs on Linux and also lacks some advanced movie making functionality. It focuses on capturing. To run HL Capture you will need 32-bit FFmpeg libraries. You can download them from your distribution's packages. For example, for Arch Linux you will need lib32-ffmpeg from the Arch user repository, or also you can use the static build I have here by this link. You will also need 32-bit OpenCL. To run HL Capture you will need something called OpenCL ICD, and to utilize the GPU acceleration you will also need to install the appropriate OpenCL drivers for your GPU. Let's go to the installation instructions page. So follow this link to download HL Capture. Uh, this hlcapture.tar.gz file. I have it saved to my downloads folder. Uh, the easiest way of loading HL Capture unfortunately doesn't work for everyone and doesn't work on every setup. It involves going to the Steam's game and modifying Half-Life's properties. But first let's see what I have downloaded. So I have a FFM pack and I have HL Capture and also the script that I'll get to later. So first of all let's extract HL Capture. You can see I now have the libhlcapture.so file in my downloads folder. As you can see it's slash home slash yalter slash downloads. Let's copy this path. Now let's go to Steam, right click on Half-Life, click properties, set launch options, and type as it says in the installation instructions page. LD preload equals path slash libhl underscore capture dot so percent command percent. Now if everything is correct, I click play, the game launches, and I have the cap underscore console commands and variables which indicate that HL capture load is successfully. Alright. Let me erase this line to showcase the other installation method. So another way is using a shell script. You want to follow this link. Now click this raw button in the top right. Right click, save page as and save the script somewhere. It's in my downloads folder. So first of all, let's extract the ffmpeg libraries. I will make a folder, copy the archive there, and extract it the same way as HL Capture. Now, if I list the contents of this folder, you will see that I have all the ffmpeg libraries, f codec, f format, etc. in this folder. It's in slash home slash yalter slash download slash ffmpeg. Now let's open the run hlhl capture.sh script we'll need to change some variables. So if you read through the comments, uh, first of all, this use steam bundled libraries. So if you aren't sure what this is, uh, you can leave it at one, and then if it doesn't work, you can try changing it to zero. But I know that on my system, the native libraries are used, so I'm going to change this to zero. Next, the steam root, it should be fine, but if your distribution installs Steam somewhere else, then you might need to change that. Now, Half-Life root. I have Half-Life installed on a different drive, so I'm going to change this path. Uh, next, the HL Capture path. It's the same path uh, to libhlcapture.so. So it's in my downloads folder, as you could see earlier. And now, uh, if you are using the system FFmpeg, you don't need to change this next line. But I'm going to showcase how to use the pre-built binaries, so I'm gonna uncomment this line and change the path to the folder with the ffmpeg libraries, so download slash ffmpeg. Now I'm going to save this script and mark it as executable. And now I'm try I'll try to run it. As you can see my Half-Life launches and I have the capture variables. So it loaded successfully. Alright, now on to the basic usage. 
So I opened AG with HL Capture and I have this demo called Hop Track and I want to quickly record it. So the quickest way is to just play demo semicolon cup start. Uh, this will start capturing at default settings. Uh, they are 60 FPS and relatively fast uh, and relatively lossless encoding. So it's important to note that uh, GPU that the GPU acceleration is used only in full screen mode, and in windowed. Uh, normal CPU based algorithms are used. So if you want the fastest capturing, uh, switch to the full screen mode. So let's see the result. Uh, Capture.mp4 in the Half-Life folder. As you can see it captured at 60 FPS and reasonably good quality. So you can upload that to YouTube or whatever or share it. It will work nicely. So if you want to change the FPS, uh, it's the cap FPS command. So if I wanted to do like 100 FPS, I would do cap FPS 100. Uh, if you want to enable sampling, you go to cap sampling SPS and set it to some value. Uh, the recommended values are large, like above 3000 to get rid of any artifacts. But for the sake of this video being more or less fast, uh, let's set it to 600, so that's 10 frames per frame. Also, you can change the exposure. The value is the same as in HLA. So I have set it to 0.5, and that's a very nice value without too much blur. Uh, let's launch the capturing again. So if you're in full screen mode and you try to cap start and your game freezes for about 5 seconds, uh, and then output some error to the console regarding OpenCL, then that means that either uh, you don't have a GPU that supports OpenCL, or you don't have the necessary drivers installed. So this freeze uh, will only occur the first time you do cap start. Uh, it just it just has to do with how the OpenCL library detects its devices. Uh, so yeah, but everything will still work correctly, just maybe a little bit slower. So as you can see, this is capturing with sampling at 600 samples per second into the same file. And it's done. Uh, it's worth to say that uh, there is the play demo stop command like in play and it's set to 1 by default. So by default the capturing is stopped on demo end. Let's look at the result. As you can see it's well sampled. It's hard to see on YouTube and at such low resolution. But yeah it's there with sampling. Alright. So other important uh, variables include cap x264 preZ. Uh, if you want to capture something really fast uh, without or caring about the file size too much, you can set this to ultra fast. Uh, this is the fastest preset that you can use. Uh, another important uh, variable is CRF. It stands for constant rate factor, and basically the larger this number is, the worse the video quality is, but also the less the file size is. So for YouTube, somewhere around 23 is good, and somewhere around 18 is uh, visually lossless. So if you just want to capture a demo for YouTube, just set this to 23 and you will be good. So that's about it for the basic usage of facial capture. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.